Welcome to Serenity Leisure's video for this 2014 Swift High Style 496. The video is being made in connection with the photographs and editorial you may have already seen, and it's just designed to give you some very, being made rather, just to give you some very up close footage, which uh, people, especially people who are a long way away, find particularly handy. It also gives me an opportunity to point out any defects on the motorhome. Right, this is quite a high end camper, the 496. Um, and uh, with this, with the uh, a silver cab, as you can appreciate, most of them come with the uh, with a white cab. Uh, the silver cab looks pretty stunning, to say the least. Um, and it's running on the Fiat Ducato 2.3, 130 brake horsepower uh, turbo diesel. Um, the uh, near side, near side, offside, which is what uh, we're, we're walking down now, um, remains completely unmarked. There's certainly no bumper scuffs. No sort of pimple markings. Actually, no, there is one pimple marking, which I've just discovered, which is a small one. Where is it? Just, can you see where my finger is? There's one small pimple mark there, but nothing really of any great significance. Uh, other than that, down this side, the camper is quite lovely. There we go. Uh, back end, again, no sort of scrapes on any of the corners. It's got the uh, uh, reversing camera with twin view on it. Uh, so you can either look straight down or you can look behind you as you're driving. That's quite handy. It's a nice, big, uh, spacious six berth uh, uh, motorhome, um, this particular one. Front end, no sort of nasty chips or markings to it. Again, no bumper scuffs on any of the corners. Cab remains in very nice condition, as does the rest of the camper. And again, down this side, You've got the, uh, the Fiamma big awning on, it, on, the, on, the, on the side of the camper. It has an outside uh, 240 volt socket. And that's just a nice big storage uh, cupboard down the side there that uh, uh, enables you to access underneath the seats. That's the gas locker um, um, without stating the obvious. Right, okay, so let's pop inside and then I can give you a good indication. Oh, there we go, we've got an electric step. It's gone a bit dark for some reason. Let's try and brighten that up a bit. There we go. Oh, okay. So, as mentioned before, this is a uh, full six berth motorhome, but I'll start off at the front. Um, it's got some quite nice extras on it, this particular one. Uh, it has the um, uh, sort of veneer laminate dashboard, which is an extra, it has air conditioning, um, it has uh, cruise control and a multifunction steering wheel. Electric windows, central door locking, and that entertainment system, which is also a Bluetooth phone, are all standard. Okay, uh, condition of the front seats, as you can see, are absolutely spotless. And then if I turn the camera around, it gives you a good indication now as to the layout of the uh, interior of this Swift. Uh, more importantly, six inertia seat belts. Okay, which is superb. Um, so you can even it's a six berth motorhome. You can travel with six people. You'd be surprised the amount of motorhomes out there that are six berth. You can't travel with six because they haven't got six belted belts. Belted belts. Six seat belts. Right. The uh, top cab here. This just pulls down. There's all the just the additional uh, fill-ins for the um, bedding area, etc up here then you've got a window to the side there's a net safety net that comes up and then obviously you access the whole area via the ladder so two forward facing seats two rear facing seats and this whole area here if so desired turns into a double bed the galley directly opposite additional worktop space this uh, uh, pulls out and gives you a little bit more worktop space you can see the condition of that. It's all very good, as you'd want it to be. Dometic fridge freezer down there, and a microwave at the top. And are moving towards the rear. You've got a very good, um, um, very good uh, uh, rear lounge. U-shaped rear lounge. These are very popular. Makes a good habitation area for sort of, you know, well, you've got another table that goes in here if you want, so you can use it as a dining room, or generally it's just, you know, nice room to sort of relax in. Um, 
if you want to put a television in here there's a TV point just down there okay obviously it's got LED lighting but that access um, um, locker that I showed you um, gets you in underneath uh, on the outside gets you in underneath this seat and uh, of course there's storage on, on oh what's going on there well wow. storage underneath all these seats as well that's like being on a roller coaster uh, and a curtain comes off just comes across just to separate this bedroom from the remaining of the uh, motorhome on a night time uh, oh and again good grief yes don't want to see that. Uh, nice big wardrobe space here. Storage underneath here. And then our bathroom area. Up here. So you've got your Tetford, obviously your electric flush toilet. Separate shower, enclosed. Which is very good. And then obviously your uh, separate sink. It's a, it's a good spacious bathroom much much better than a wet room as many campers of this size again I've got a wet room but uh, this is uh, a proper proper bathroom and your control panel is up here and then that's the control for the heating um, um, etc we've got the latest style uh, Truma blown air heating um, with um, boost buttons on it etc etc there we go uh, condition wise internally you won't fault it uh, not a mark no smells no no dog smells no pets nothing it's uh, absolutely spotless. There's that uh, a, a camera that I was telling you about that'll give you the um, uh, the dual view, dual view of the cameras on the uh, on the back of the camper. Okay, that uh, completes Serenity Ledger's video for this 2014 Swift 496.